Hi Grade 7! For today, our topic is subset of real numbers. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 1, Module Number 8. This is from LRMDS Bulacan. Thank you and congratulations to the development team of this module. Credit to the author, language reviewer, content editor, illustrator, and layout artist of this module. Hi, math lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know This module encourages you to be familiar and understand the different subsets of real numbers. Different interactive activities are given for you to reach the target scales. At the end of this module, you are expected to Describe the different subsets of real number Compare the different subsets of real number Illustrate the different subsets of real numbers And arrange real numbers in increasing or decreasing order on a number line. What I know. Turn your module to page 3. Let's answer the pretest. Read and understand the following. Shade T if the statement is true. And F if it is false. What's in? As you can see, I have here 10 mangoes. Written inside it are different numbers. Now, classify the following numbers by putting it inside the correct basket. A basket for integers, a basket for fractions, a basket for terminating or repeating decimals, and a basket for non-terminating or non-repeating decimals. Now, let's identify the following numbers. First, we have negative 4 over 5. Where do we need to place it? Correct, negative 4 over 5 is a fraction. How about 4.438, 3 dots? Correct, that is non-terminating or non-repeating decimal. Now how about negative 50? Correct, that is integer. How about 15.4? Correct, that is terminating decimal. Now, how about 18.2626 26, 26 with 3 dots? Correct, that is terminating or repeating decimals. Now, let's proceed to 8 over 15. Correct, 18 over 15 is a fraction. How about square root of 25? The square root of 25 is an integer. How about negative 0 0.4298 with 3 dots? Yes, that is non-terminating or non-repeating decimal. Now, how about square root of 2? Square root of 2 is non-terminating or non-repeating decimal. For the last number, we have 2020. Correct, that is an integer. What's new? The story of Noah's Ark is a familiar one to many of us. It is the story of a big boat and a lot of water. It is also about the story of God and how much He loves us. God said to Noah, People have made their earth full of violence, so I will destroy all the people from the earth. Build a boat of cypress wood for yourself. Make rooms in it and cover it inside and outside of tar. This is how big I want you to build the boat. 135 meter long, 222 meter wide, and 13.5 meter high. Make an opening around the top of the boat. Make it one half meter high from the edge of the roof down. Put a door in the side of the boat. Make an upper, middle, and lower deck in it. I will bring a flood of water on the earth. I will destroy all living things that live under the sky. This includes everything that has the breath of life. Everything on earth will die. 
but I will make an agreement with you. You, your sons, your wife, and your son's wife will all go into the boat. Also, you must bring into the boat two of every living thing, male and female. Keep them alive with you. There will be two of every kind of birds, animals and crawling things. They will come to you to be kept alive. Also gather some every kind of foods. Store it in the boat as food for you and the animals. Noah did everything that God commanded him. Even in a time of Noah, numbers are used in construction of art, counting of animals, things, days and nights. Imagine that you are one of the sons of Noah in the story. List from list to greatest, all the possible numbers used in the story and write it inside the boat. How important are numbers in the story? What is it? Subsets of real numbers The sets of real numbers is the set of all rational numbers combined with the sets of all irrational numbers. The real numbers include all integers, fractions, and decimals. Now let's identify natural or counting numbers. The numbers that we use in counting, those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The three dots are the ellipses. Ellipses indicates that the pattern continues indefinitely. Now let's have example of natural or counting numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. Now let's identify whole numbers. The set of whole numbers includes 0 and natural or counting numbers. Let's have example for whole numbers. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. Now let's identify integers. The sets of integers is the result of the union of the set of whole numbers and the negative of counting numbers. Notice that the set of natural and whole numbers are both subset of set of integers. m over n or m and n are integers and n is not equal to zero. Let's give example for integers. We have negative 12, negative 8, and 0. We also have 1, 15, and 600. Now let's identify rational numbers. The set of rational numbers is the set of all numbers that can be expressed as a quotient m over n of two integers. The integer m is the numerator, while the integer n, which cannot be zero, is the denominator. Rational numbers can be expressed as terminating or repeating decimals. The set of integers is the subset of set of rational numbers. Because every integer can be expressed as a ratio of integer n1. Terminating decimals are decimals that contain a finite number of digits. Repeating decimals are decimals that contain an infinite number of digits. Now let's have example for rational numbers. First, we have 5 or we can express as 5 over 1. Negative 18 can be expressed as negative 18 over 1. The square root of 4 is equal to 2 or can be expressed as 2 over 1. Then we have square root of 25 is equal to 5 or can be expressed as 5 over 1. 4.19 is equal to 419 over 100. 0 0.3333 and 3 dot can be expressed as 1 over 3. And lastly, 0 0.111 and 3 dots can be expressed as 1 over 9. Now let's have another example. First is for terminating decimal. We have 15.9 and negative 111.72. For repeating decimal, we have we have 0 0.8888 and so on. And lastly, we have 3.18, 18, 18, and so on. Now let's define irrational numbers. 
The set of irrational numbers is the set of all numbers whose decimal representation are neither terminating nor repeating. Irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a fraction. Non-terminating decimals are decimals that never repeat. Let's have example for irrational numbers. Square root of 2 is equal to 1, 0.41, 42, 13, 56, and so on. There is no repeating number. Now we have square root of 5. We have 2.23, 61, and so on. Again, there is no repeating number. And of course, we have pi. We have 2.1415 15, and so on. Again, there is no repeating number. These are irrational numbers. Now we have number line. It is a straight line extended on both directions as illustrated by arrowheads and it is used to represent the set of real numbers. Every real number corresponds to a point on the number line and every point on a number line corresponds to a real number. On the number line, all numbers to the left of 0 are negative and all numbers to the right of 0 is positive. Only the number 0 is neither negative or positive. When comparing and ordering real numbers on a number line, the larger number will always lie on the right of the smaller one. It is clear that 10 is greater than 4, but it may not be so clear to see that negative 4 is greater than negative 12 until we graph each number on a number line. Now let's have example of number line. Here is an example of a number line. Consists of negative, zero, and positive numbers. For our next example, we have negative one half. It lies between negative one and zero. Next, we have a square root of 36. That is six. Lies at exactly six. On our last example for the number line, we have negative 12, negative four, four, and 10. It lies exactly at a given point. Now let's proceed with our mathematical symbol. First we have greater than. Then we have this symbol, less than. The next one is equal. And this symbol is not equal to. The symbol is greater than or equal to. For this one, we have less than or equal to. Therefore, all the numbers defined so far are subsets of the sets of real numbers. Now look at our example. We have natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational and irrational numbers. Are you ready to answer your module? Good luck! What's more? Independent activity number one. Now turn your module to page 10. Draw a happy face before each number if the sentence describes correct ideas about the subset of real numbers, and sad face if not. Dependent assessment number 1. Now turn your module to pages 11 and 12. Classify each number correctly as a subset of real numbers by putting it on the Venn diagram. Remember that each number should be written only once. For letter B, arrange the following real numbers in descending order, or greatest to least, by putting it inside the heart. Independent activity number 2. Now turn your module to pages 12 and 13. Choose the number that belongs to the set denoted in each sentence. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before the number. Independent assessment number 2. Now turn your module to page 13. Determine the subset of real numbers to which each number belongs. Use check mark to answer. Independent activity number 3. Turn your module to pages 14 and 15. For letter A, look at the two pictures below. Can you spot the difference? Encircle the object that has difference and write the number in the circle object in the proper column below. For letter B, arrange your answers in independent activity 3.A, 
from least to greatest by putting it inside the bag independent assessment number 3. Turn your module to pages 15 and 16. Now answer the crossword puzzle. Solve the puzzle by using the clues provided on the next page. What I have learned Now turn your module to page 16. Based from the different activities, you have learned the subset of real numbers. Now in your own understanding, write your realization by plotting your ideas below. What I can do Now turn your module to page 17. Assessment Turn your module to pages 18 to 20. Let's answer the process. Select the letter of the correct answer by shading the circle. Additional activity Turn your module to pages 21 and 22. Answer the given problem. References It's study time! It's time for you to answer your module. Thanks for watching! Good luck!